In today's My Health segment, our health expert, Dr. David Friedman, is in the Big Apple to talk with a celebrity with a very special tie to a very important cause. Take a look. Today's My Health segment brought to you by Choose for Health, the world's first super fruit, sea vegetable, antioxidant, chewable dietary supplement. As you may know, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, where people all over the country focus on the disease and finding a cure. We traveled to New York City today to talk to an actor whose entire family has embraced the concept there is a cure for breast cancer and we're going to find it. Welcome to the show, Stephen Baldwin. Thank you, doctor. Thanks for having me. So tell us, uh, why is your family so devoted to finding a cure for breast cancer? Well, about 20 years ago, uh, on about a month before my wedding, my mom found out that she had this horrible disease, uh, kept it quiet, got through the wedding, and uh, after that, uh, went through a double mastectomy and had a very tough time and has been a very strong crusader and survivor for the cause ever since. Um, interestingly enough, uh, my mom, again, had launched at that time the Carol Baldwin Breast Cancer Research Fund, never talking to Alec or Billy or Danny or myself or anybody. She just said, I don't need the boys. I'm going <laughs> to march forward and start this thing on my own. And she really did. And the funny story is uh, probably about six or eight months into the beginning of the organization, uh, the word got out, you know, oh, did you hear uh, mom's doing Oprah or mom's doing Rosie? Mom's doing like one of these bigger shows. And uh, all of a sudden Alec calls. He's like, mom's on Rosie? I can't get on Rosie. <laughs> Which, you know, and uh, it was really just interesting. It's really my mom's passion and drive and will to live life to the fullest that is the greatest motivation for her to continue fighting this cause because she says she's not going to stop until we find a cure. Oh, and that was the great. thing that it was her zeal and her passion that led us all kind of coming alongside her and getting behind her after that. But her goal more than anything was to raise funds to do grants, to do research, to find a cure. That is specifically what the organization does. They're very close, doctor. I'm sure you know this. They've come, you know, even in the last five years, there's been major breakthroughs. How does she decide what to fund? There must be a lot of people coming to her saying, support this, support that. Is that a difficult task? A lot of people don't understand that in these days with technology, et cetera, et cetera, even just $15,000 can fund one researcher's work for one year. Meaning if they isolate one opportunity to find something that seems to be working, that work can live on for, for 12 months on just $15,000. So uh, we've donated over the $2 million mark um, and it's really oh, been, that's exciting. it's really done a I'll lot. I'll tell you, it's always inspiring when you see a person of celebrity status like yourself giving back and helping others. I mean, that is just touching. Well, you know, it's important to uh, try to make a difference. It's important to that's try to about. take any opportunity and platform you have to make a positive impact. Uh, and if that's not enough, mom will kick our butts. <laughs> so... That's great. Well, as you know, I'm also a formulator of a nutritional product called Choose for Health, which you've been taking. Absolutely. And I hear you're enjoying it. Very much. That's great. Well, we want to help you out. We want to help your mother's fund. And what we're doing is we've created Choose for Charity. Fantastic. And for the month of October, all boxes that are purchased, we're going to donate $5 to your mother's fund. Amazing. We're That's so it. We're excited. excited about that. Now, Choose for Health is the world's first superfruit, sea vegetable, antioxidant, chewable product that I formed for good health. And now you have a chance to get healthy and support a great cause. I think it's a great product and it really has been helping me a lot. You know, you juggle a lot, so you, your health really has to be in the forefront. You, you're a syndicated radio host, TVs, right, right. movies, you help your mother's foundation and, and organization. Doing so, charity, char doing yeah. ministry, doing, doing all ministry. kinds of stuff. And, 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 uh, and so what do you do to stay healthy? I mean, literally, I'm so on the go between the requirements for eating right, getting enough sleep. Uh, I have that little kit that's those elastic bands that you can connect into the door of a hotel room and I do like this little workout right on the floor in my hotel room 20 30 minutes every morning and at night and it really makes a difference so you know for the person who tries to use the excuse oh I don't have enough time in the day let me tell you something if you utilize opportunities like choose for health if you just walk it's gonna make a difference, it's make a difference. what's gonna impact the quality of life you have 
in your 60s, 70s, and 80s is determined by how good you are to yourself and your body and your health now. I always tell uh, my patients, if you ignore your health long enough, it's going to go away. Right. Thank you so much for being here, Stephen. Thank you, Doctor. It's been great, great chatting with Appreciate you. Appreciate it. And for more information on the Carol M. Baldwin Breast Cancer Research Fund, go to findacure.org. And to help out through Choose for Charity, log on to orderchoose.com. Proceeds go to a great cause. I will see you again next week for more tips on being healthy.